it is Sunday. North on Freedom Boulevard, 200 west, toward west 100 north. That's where we're going. Taco Del Mar. I know, I love, I love me some good Taco Del Mar. Didn't know I was going to get to get it on this trip too. My mandatory stop must spend, you know, $5 on tacos. Head north on 100 west, then turn left onto west 100 north. We got up this morning and went to church, washing the CVX Live off of us. It's starting to feel a little better. And so, Taco Del Mar and then our adventure. Not Taco Del Mar, Del Taco. Gosh, I gotta say it right, Del Taco. No, I didn't put in Taco Del Mar, Del Taco. Oh, Del Taco's Different. the name of the place. Del Taco, okay, so we gotta change that up. Del Taco. Look, new skin. Turn left onto West 100 North, then turn right onto Freedom Boulevard 200 West. What's new skin? It's really big here. Taco Bell, not the right restaurant. Del Taco. So, right Where is it? <gasps> Do you hear the angels? I hear the angels. There's a Del Taco. <laughs> L&L &L Hawaiian barbecue. Not open. It's Sunday. But Del Taco's open on Sunday. Little better view than the Del Taco in Bend, Oregon. A little better view. They ripped you off. There's no taco in that one. He ate it quickly. I haven't even started mine. It's Sunday, we're in Provo, Utah. There are a lot of people that are part of the Church of Jesus, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So lots of LDS people. They don't mind the term Mormon. I'm gonna use the term Mormon. However, I keep having sort of an anxiety feeling every time I see- North University Avenue for six miles. When I see a Mormon on the side of the road or driving a car, I have this little anxiety feeling. And I was like, what is that? Like, do I have something where I hate Mormons? And then I realized it's the anxiety from the doorbell ringing. <laughs> I feel my heart going up like, I need to defend my faith in any moment because there are Mormons ringing the doorbell. Just everywhere I see white shirts and yeah. That, that, that's a thing here. That should not be a thing. That sh is so bad. <laughs> That'll be a great thing until they have that first good wipeout on the pavement and they'll never do it again. Uh, Jerry saw a guy in flip-flops. Why are you riding a motorcycle with flip-flops? With a passenger. A passenger can totally kick you off balance and make bad things happen. We are right by Brigham Young University, so I shouldn't be shocked to see a lot of people that are Mormons. It's just, I can't get past that, oh my gosh, someone's at my door feeling. The doorbell ringing might not be the best thing that they do to recruit people. I think I'm not the only one who has that feeling.
So we're kicking up a lot of dust on this dirt road. We tried to let this guy by. Um, he pulled over. I think the car might be dirty when we turn it in. see anybody on my side so the sermon today was about the good Samaritan <coughs> we would be the useless Samaritan because uh, there was a truck high center uh, next to a sign that said do not drive on in this area yeah we wouldn't be the worst worthless Samaritans but it would have taken a lot longer <gasps> look at this pretty 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 and that guy would have to listen to a little bit of logic, like he was digging a hole on the high-centered <laughs> side, so he's going to put the frame further in the hole? Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. I was trying to tell him, like, you got to jack this side up, because the other side's tires off the ground. Yeah. The girl was a little more use. Uh, no, she was no. actually pushing the, the left side frame further in oh, by gosh. jacking up that side, <laughs> wrong side. Oh, I don't lift know the left side of the vehicle up off of the high center. Or maybe pay attention to the sign that says, do not drive any vehicles beyond this point. <laughs> well, that, that's beside the back. <laughs> they didn't know what to do, and so it was a couple kids, like 19 years old, stop. The dude's got a tow strap and a jack well, <laughs> not a jack a wench yeah. tow jet is toast i mean if he didn't get him out the first way get him out the second way so that was really nice well they were two-thirds of the way through they were on the downhill side really so they just had to be pulled a little bit we'll pull <coughs> look at this stuff looks like stuff in paintings and on calendars and if it's too hot to touch it's too hot to leave i never knew that was the rule but okay to the city. Well, we drove about an hour up the mountain and got to a sign. What did it say, Jerry? That was something about not, uh, suitable. not suitable for passenger cars. And we're taking their word for it. We're going back down the other way, but it's still pretty. It's already sketchy enough. Yeah, this is sketchy enough. to go to Sundance <laughs> except we found the resort and the National Forest instead of the film festival it's beautiful I just know it. We got the rental car a little dirty. Before we turn this car in, I'm still taking it to the car wash to get this in. 